Lamb works so well in a curry. The lamb doesn't get overpowered by all the spices and instead all the flavours complement each other. Today I'm making a slow cooked lamb curry, which is lamb shoulder cooked in the slow cooker until rich and tender. to sear the meat first so to do this I'm going to put the searing function on my slow cooker if your slow cooker hasn't got a searing function then you can just do this bit in a large frying pan so we're going to add the lamb shoulder to the slow cooker and sear it on all sides until brown we're going to add in a diced onion just around the sides of the lamb Cook that for about five minutes until softened. Next in goes garlic, ginger, cinnamon, paprika and salt. And then curry powder and garam masala. Stir together and then cook for another one to two minutes. Then we'll add a tin of chopped tomatoes. Chicken or lamb stock. Tomato puree sugar and coconut milk. One of the things that drives me crazy when I'm making curry is trying to fish out all those cardamom pods at the end. Chris always gets the cardamom pod. So I'm going to show you a little tip. I always keep a needle and thread, just natural cotton, um, in my cardamom jar and then I thread the cardamom pods together. So just a few on the cotton and then place it in the curry and then it's really easy just to find it and fish it all out at once right at the end. Now we're going to place the lid on and that goes on low for six to eight hours or high for four to five hours. Really wish you could smell the smell, I can't wait for dinner. After the cooking time's finished we're going to remove the lamb from the slow cooker. If you like, you can spoon off the excess fat. I like to leave most of it in because after all, fat is flavour. We're also going to remove those cardamom pods. If you want to thicken the sauce a little more, you can just stir in a little bit of cornstarch slurry, which is corn flour mixed with cold water. Now we're going to shred the lamb using a couple of forks. Oh my gosh, so tender. Just falling apart underneath the skin there. Can we all just admire how well that meat has come off the bone? It's just meltingly tender. And now we're going to put that meat back into the sauce. I'm going to serve this with boiled rice and a sprinkling of fresh coriander. This curry is fantastic comfort food on a cold evening. Mm -hmm.